These are the top three secret methods to get zero input delay in Fortnite. The first method is the basic skin, pickaxe, and weapon wrap method. What you want to do is make sure you aren't using any skins, pickaxes, or weapon wraps that are reactive as they will make your input delay worse. What you should be using are the most basic skins which don't have any special effects, some of which include the Mulga Master skins, the Recon Expert, the Birdie skin, and several others that I'll put on the screen. And then make sure you don't have any back bling on because that's going to give you the lowest amount of delay. And then for your pickaxe, you want to make sure that it doesn't have any special effects or anything. Make sure it's one of these simple pickaxes like the crowbar, the bat, the golf club pickaxe, and several others that I'll put on the screen. Of course, there are many more pickaxes you could use, but when choosing a pickaxe, just make sure it doesn't have any special animations or effects. Then when it comes down to your weapon wrap, you can either have none at all, but if you'd prefer to use one, make sure it's one of those basic wraps with very few colors and no special effects. Again, I'll put some weapon wraps on the screen that I recommended if you want low input delay. And just like the pickaxes and skins, these are just some of the options that you can use. There are plenty more wrap options that you can choose, but you want to make sure that you choose one with not a lot of colors and no animations. The second way to lower your input delay is by tweaking your in-game settings. So getting right into the settings, make sure you have full screen on and not windowed mode or windowed full screen or anything like that. Make sure you're on full screen because that's going to give you the lowest amount of input delay. And now for resolution, you can either have it set to native, which is 1920 by 1080, or if you'd like, you can actually check out the description or the card in the top right hand corner to check out my stretch resolution video because I cover the best stress resolutions in Fortnite, and those will surely give you more input delay, so be sure to check that video out. And then for your frame rate limit, just cap it to your monitor's refresh rate. In my case, that's 240 hertz, so I have it set to 240 FPS. And then in the graphics quality settings, I have my 3D resolution set to 100%. However, if you're on a low-end PC, I highly recommend setting it to 90 or 80% because that is going to give you an FPS boost, and it also will lower your input delay. For view distance, I have that set to near. My textures are on low. Auto download high-res textures and high-res texture reminders. Be sure those are both turned off and then of course make sure you're using low meshes because these do give you the lowest amount of input delay and then down here in the advanced graphic settings make sure you have vsync turned off show fps turned on or off it doesn't really matter and then down here in the rendering mode be sure you have performance mode beta turned on performance mode is going to make the biggest difference in not only your fps you will see much higher fps but also your input delay you're going to see much lower input delay in performance mode so if you're on a low end pc medium end pc or even high end pcs make sure you have performance mode turned on it's going to make the biggest difference in not only your FPS but also your input delay so make sure performance mode is turned on and then going into our main game settings scroll all the way to the bottom and then you're gonna see your replay settings make sure that these are all turned off because these do drain FPS and input delay out of your game so if you truly want the lowest amount of input delay make sure these are all turned off the third way to lower your input delay is by using an Ethernet cable if you don't already know an Ethernet cable is essentially a cable that provides a direct connection between your router and your console or PC of course using an Ethernet cable isn't a foolproof way to get get zero input delay, but it will definitely help decrease your input delay. This is because you'll have much lower ping and your game will be much more responsive as a result. Ethernet cables will only run you about $20 and if you are considering taking Fortnite seriously and want the lowest delay and lowest ping possible, be sure to get an Ethernet cable because you definitely won't regret it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.